episode uh, two and three of um, season two. And I thought I'd just take you along today. If you want to watch it or not, you're more than welcome to. But I want to show you how to grind. I mean, all the guys, all the people do it. We make mistakes like that right there. Um, we need to get more uh, things. Uh, and yesterday I was watching, I was critiquing one of my videos. And I, right at the beginning on season two, episode one, I said something about the obelisk. And at the obelisk is where you can upload and download your character from before or your animals. If you have uploaded them, you may download them. If you haven't, then they are gone forever. So that's uh, why I wanted to finish that thought for you. Today I want to grind and I want to finish um, our, uh, yeah, our taming pen so we can get some raptors and maybe get something that uh, will uh, be more than a herbivore. I'm not saying that herbivores aren't dangerous because I think the four of these guys are very dangerous. Four of them together are really dangerous. But in the trailer you see a whole bunch of them being herded and like I said, you know, uh, I have um, 3,000 drinks of water but today I'm going to test that because I really don't know. Okay, so it's 7.50, 7.50 I want to see how much uh, water goes. If we drink one, it still has 750. Wow, that's pretty uh, interesting. I might looking at the right guy. Aha! I wasn't. 746. Okay, so you lose four. Let's see. And four times seven is 28. So you have mm, maybe 700 uh, drinks of water. Well, actually, you have uh, 750 because there's four of these guys and four and two, 3,000 is 750. Okay, so you have 750 drinks of water uh, if you have four of them. Aha, okay, so let's grind. First of all, we uh, made a doe dick saddle yesterday, uh, last night actually. And I don't know if I should tear that down or if I should uh, leave it um, and uh, finagle it and make it put a, uh, a garden on top. Now I know that a garden needs to have, or it does better with uh, all of the tools to make it better, like um, greenhouse glass and everything, but you can still grow it without greenhouse glass. And remember, we're very... Uh, we don't have many resources here. We are very low on resources in this area. First, I want to check my water and my food, make sure I'm okay. I'm okay. From working around here, I'm fine. Okay, so let's get our dodic saddle, if we hadn't already. I don't remember where we were with it. There it is. And I thought maybe in between scenes, we'd make paint so you can see how to make paint. Okay, I'm still working on fortitude. I love, absolutely love, 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 love to um, hmm, add uh, weight, but you know, I mean, I'm 178 pounds, and look, I hardly have anything in here. Well, I do have 80 pounds of wood. I guess I can drop it. And 100 dollars. I have a pound, 1.4, and I have seven pounds of spoiled meat. We can drop that. <laughs> I guess I do have a few things we could drop. Uh, I'm not going to be uh, needing this many arrows. I can drop. 19 these arrows, and I don't need, well, I've got 100, almost 100 of each. I will keep those. Okay, how am I doing? I am only 84 pounds. Okay, so now I can just toot around with 100 pounds. And the lighter you are, the better it is for whatever is, like my doe dick can hardly carry anything. And when he uh, gets sewn, well, he's going to be uh, full of the weight of it. So... But, hmm, they're kind of be in the way, aren't they? Okay, I kind of, I don't want to, let's see here, have them right in the way right now. Okay. 
Okay, they're kind of a pain. Uh, I didn't do the right thing here. It's got to go in a little bit further, I guess. Oh, come on. I don't want to do that. I don't want to. Where'd it go? Oh. Didn't go very far, did you? This one. At least I'll be able to see that you're there. Oh, that's fascinating. Okay, then we'll just pick up the last one. Uh, remember, Jerbo always tell you and warn you if storms come in. We'll shut this so it's not in the way. Why don't we try to walk in and out of the door? We'll come out here. We need to make one of those, but I think I'm just going to wait on that. Okay, so let's push F. He's already got a little bit of stone in him. Check it out. Of course, now that we're taking his stone away, we have to be careful of our stone. And we'll put the little dojek saddle on there. And now he weighs 27. And I just, since he's always going to have other things around him, I'm going to up him in weight only. Uh, health and melee damage, uh, I'll save for the ones that are going to do combat. And let's see, we need a place for stone and sand. And it's probably going to be right here. I've been trying to put my raw materials in here. My stuff over some like, here's something of mine, something of mine, something of mine. Remember I offload in here uh, in mass and then I and then over here, we'll just come and we'll put these in here just in case we ever need them until we get a little bit further along. And, uh, right, we'll come here, we'll put our weapon uh, in here, our, uh, get everything ready for a day of grinding. We need repair item, repair item. Uh, I hate to do that, but last time I just know that you need to have your fortitude and your stamina or you're not going to make it. And of course your health. Health's first. Alright. And I put that arrow in there. I really don't need it, do I? I really, really don't. I don't need the extra four pounds. Okay, and then I'm going to have to bring my dough deck around where everybody else is so that they can follow us. All right, guy. First maiden voyage of our little dough deck and us. Make sure you see what's out here. It could eat you. We do not want to be killed right off the bat, but we do need to have uh, perhaps some raptors. Maybe we can get a Pariser, but we have to get enough stone to make a behemoth gate. And last night I had enough engrams to get a behemoth gate. And yesterday I ground around until I got enough metal out of a few pieces of rock just to make a smithy so that we could make a behemoth gate. Oh gosh. There's just a lot that you have to do. And I went into my engrams. I typed here. I typed behemoth gate. I found out that if I make a behemoth gate, it can only be created at a smithy. So then I went to the smithy right here. And I found out that it needed to have metal ingots. In order to do metal ingots, you need a forge to forge them. So I had to buy that. And these aren't cheap, like 21 ingrams when you're down low. See, I saved mine <laughs> just in case. And then I needed a campfire. Of course, we got that the first day. So one thing leads to another. You cannot get a stone behemoth gate until you get a gateway. And oh, it just continues. And um, so. We are blessed to have this little dodic that I found caught. 
and then uh, he uncaught himself. And then after that, being uncaught, he, uh, I just had to uh, keep aggro hanging him until he followed me all the way down to my parasaur, parasaur, not parasaur, but parasaur, a gated area in the back of my house. Okay, so this has got um, 500, 600 pounds, and so we're going to have him follow me, and we're going to have him follow me on medium because the dodic's tiny, and he won't be, okay, so we're just going to walk over here, and here we go. We have 138 stone. Oh my God, I don't have to do this by hand anymore. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's see, I don't think it will pick up that other one though. Will it? I didn't think so. Okay, now you have to check them continuously. He will hardly be able to move at 365. You have to give him about 50 pounds. And even with you off of them, he'll be 80 pounds lighter and he can follow you back home but he certainly won't be able to um, do anything else. And then let's put the sand, the stone, a few measure berries in here. Now this happened the last time. It just kept going. I think it's a tiny little bug. I don't want to know it. We haven't even started and we're going to have a storm. We need to get as much as we can. take the stone? It would not. Oh, that wasn't very nice. That heavy, huh? Oh, how heavy are you now? Too heavy. Okay. So, uh, you follow me. You follow me. Come on, let's get back to the, out, the outpost. Oh, just everybody follow me. Come on. So I'll get back here before the storm hits. Okay, and then I'm gonna have everybody unfollow. And I'll get on you. And I gotta put you back. Because even in storms you get monsters. And you just have to come right over here. I need to run over here and shut this. It sounds like a Really fierce storm. I need to shut the door. I need to watch what they do. Heat. Oh, I died from the heat yesterday. I really died from the heat yesterday. Okay, so... Can you back up a tiny bit? Or are you stuck? Really stuck, huh? Okay, everybody, kind of... Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Okay. Just kind of walk here over this way a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Okay, let's see here. Uh, which one of you... Beautiful babies. You. Why does he only have 119 in him? Let's get you... Uh-oh, he started. I mean, I died yesterday in this heat. See how slow he's going? Yep. Yeah. See the little things at the bottom there? I can't get away from that. Oh, 
You're not going to be able to do anything. I'm not going to be able to use the stone right now. Okay, get in here. I will not die again from that. That was horrid. Okay, you're going to have to press I. And you're going to have to see. See, it's taking my health down already. And it's continuing to take my health down. And if you don't have enough health, you will die. It's taking my water. Get yourself some cactus sap. I don't, yesterday, cactus sap didn't do a thing for me. Because it was 168 in here. Why is it 168 in here? Nothing is open. I'm still dying? Please don't keep dying. What is my hypothermal value in here? My insulation is 544. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Look at my food, my water, everything is just dissipating really quickly. Keep it up. Don't die. Keep your health up. Okay, so this is just not working out like we planned. I wonder if it's because I went out and stayed out too long. I don't know. Okay, so let's see here. We have some sand. We have some clay. But if you die, you're at least in the house. And um, let's make these. And then let's come over here and we'll get the clay, the thatch, the fiber, and the wood. And I want to make um, I guess I'll make a door. And a couple of ceilings. If I need another door. I don't know what I need. I need to go in my inventory, take out what's the heaviest. Walk over here. And then close this door. And put um, a ceiling that I just made. It's a wooden ceiling. I don't want a wooden ceiling. I want an adobe ceiling. Well, that's a nice way to waste your material. Let's try again. Ceiling. Adobe ceiling. Craft item. Oh, goodness, I forgot. You have to take the wood out or you can't move. Let's see. Oh, and I'm going to take out that door, too, because I... I'm just too heavy. Okay, so then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put uh, the ceiling up. Now, close this and see if I'm dying as quickly. Oh. Oh. Temperature went down. I guess you need to make a small enclosed space. I don't know. 
Oh, the heat's giving up. So if we were still at a really low health, we would have died because it took almost half our health, just heat. Didn't take our fortitude, didn't take our stamina, but it took our health. And I have 300 health. And on my other games, I always have 400, but fortitude is so important and stamina is so important in this game that I was kind of going for that. See, and I made myself only go to 200 pounds in weight and I'm at 142 and I only have, what, a little bit of clay, a little bit of thatch, a little bit of fiber, and my tools, and a door frame. Whoopee ding, huh? Okay, we have survived. Well, so now in here, on this side, on the right one, I'm putting my doors and my all of my things that I make. So I want to go and be diligent. Get the clay and put it back. And this is going to be all our raw material, and this is going to be all the stuff we've already made. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And two ceilings that I don't have a clue what we're going to do with. I wish they would have been walls because then we could have put them out. Um, maybe I'll do that. You know, I've had animals jump over uh, one height of uh, fence. So you want to have at least two heights of fence. And one of them I had to tape down yesterday. Uh... I'm going to leave it because I want to make everything into stone. Hi, Doodlebug. Uh, I'm going to leave you in here. I can leave you out of the doorway now. Um, in my other game, if they were this close to the wall, or actually if they were up against it, they would... Uh, your animals uh, render in first which I know, if you don't know what that means, is the game doesn't keep everything like this until you are close. Your your body, your avatar, your animated character gets closer to, like, the house. Then the animals will come in first. They'll appear. That means render. Then your buildings will come in visually, and that means render. Your buildings will render in second. Well, Sometimes they don't render in exactly in the same place that they were before. So you might have an animal that's half sticking out of a wall, which is a real big problem in this game because there's so many dynamics. So a lot of people make a building like this that is capable of protecting you from the environment, and then they make a stone building around it with, a, of course, a roof, and then like and also a foundation all the way around the whole entire building and then maybe like a one square walkway in around the whole building and all the walls and the ceiling and everything to keep you from uh, all of the predators which is pretty important and it's really nice that uh, if you accidentally have an animal render out into the hallway it won't matter and on my other arc uh, version of the center, I uh, always had um, animals in corrals. And then the next day they'd be out ratting around, you know, uh, on the islands, at, loose, and being eaten and killed by all the bad guys. So I finally had to make all of my corrals like one whole foundation in. And a foundation is a big space, one big block in and I would I put it inside and then if they rendered out they would be at least still in the compound because I lost some really beautiful things and when you're new it is not as easy as it looks to get things and accumulate okay so um, now now I'm going to take you for some reason you had a tiny bit Gosh, I wish you guys weren't so big, but you are. And I'm going to move you, and I'm going to move you, and we will move you over to, um, let's just move everybody on that book kind of over here. I'll point you that way, crashing through, 
And then I don't think there's anything in Wilson. Wilson was healing. He tanked uh, an attack yesterday all by himself. Bless his little heart. Good for him. And then we'll have him pointed this way in case there's an attack that way. Yeah, there's nothing in him. Is he even able to eat? Is he uh, close to the... No, he's not close enough to the feeder. Are you close enough to the feeder out here? We need to make another feeding trough and put it out by this other corral. Okay. Hi, you guys. Aren't you cute? So pretty. I had so many of these last time, and I just let them walk around. I know. They're so cute. Aren't they cute? I hope it doesn't kill it. Oh, good. Oh, I feel terrible. Okay, somebody had banjo berries on them. Was it you? Yeah, you have banjo berries. I'll take most of your banjo berries, dear. Because you're on the feed here right now. And then I'm going to put a tiny bit on this one. I'll just let him run around. Press the shift. And it halves the, the amounts. You can just have this. And then these guys over here can have this until I get that trough. There's a lot to do when you're running around doing. It's just, there's a lot to do. It's grinding. You have to take care of your animals just like you would in real life or they'll die. Well, actually, they don't die. They just are kind of in stasis, in a static area. I even uh, do my jerboas. Oopsie daisy. Uh, oh. I don't even know if it's a little girl or a little boy. But here it comes. Bath space. Yeah. Let's find out what it is first. Oh, isn't it cute? It's a little boy. Hi. What do you want to be named? Let's name him Peter. Why not? I have another Jerry Bow I haven't named. I think it's a boy we name him Paul. We'll call him Peter. There you go. Hi, Peter. Aw. Aren't you cute? God, I don't have the heart to leave him outside. <laughs> I don't. I'm terrible. Ah, hey, hey, I'm in here. Woo. Uh, I always change him to the lowest settings because for some reason... They can never get through the door unless you do. There you go. And while you're in here, I'm going to put you on passive so you don't try to kill everything. And where's the other little boy? There's a female. Lily. I didn't... Oh, okay. Well, then we'll just rename you Paula. Instead of Paul. P A U L A. Okay, Peter and Paula. There we go. Now everybody's got a name. And you had never have a clue what to up them in, so I just. I know it sounds silly, but I up them in melee damage. I mean, if they're going to be on your shoulder and you're going to have them with you, they can help you. You know, you never know how much. Even just that tiny bit might, you know. Oh dear, I forgot to take him off, sweetie. I'm sorry. I forgot to take him off a of follow. I asked the admin. Uh, we have a, um, yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Come on. Um, we have the a mod that, uh, on the center worked really nice. Um, unfollow me, please. Okay. It worked really nice. We had a, a shorter night. So we'd have more daylight. But here, it's already 100 degrees. Of course, in real life, it's 100 degrees in places. But when it gets up to 109, you really, you you get heat stroke. And your heart goes thunk, 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 thunk. You have to be really careful and listening to everything that's going on. To your body, to, the, to your animals. It's just, you know, oh, it's something else. Anyway. So I'm going to move you up here. And, um, no, 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 I went off. Okay. 
So what was I saying? I was saying that listen to your to everything and the taming uh, is increased a little, but the nights were really short and I asked the admin to make them a little longer so I could get things done. Because a lot of the time while I'm grinding, there is nothing else to do but stay inside. And if you don't have supplies to make things, like we could, um, I can make a cooking pot right now because uh, I'll have extra stone, we'll need some wood, and we'll need to get uh, charcoal and spark powder and we can make different colors and I have the formula. I got it off of, uh, I think I got it off of Google. Yeah, there's a, a whole thing and it, and it led me to Steam. I don't know the right on what it is on Steam, but yeah, it led me to a, a page on Steam and I was able to uh, download all the formulas for everything. So we need to get our dough deck out as soon as we do this, all this, continuously. Grind, 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 grind. And that's why if they're going to be a beast of burden and somebody, and you think, what should I, you know, level them up in? Level them in weight because they're not going to be fighting much. And together, Morella tops make a very formidable um, <clears throat> support for you when it comes to fighting. They're very deadly as a group. Uh, even the low levels, you'll see them killing, you know, raptors and wolves and sabers. Uh, yesterday I had all four of them running around and, you know, a saber tooth ran away from us. Of course, when we were past it, it came and attacked the last one and the other two that weren't, I wasn't that I weren't writing, that I wasn't writing, that I wasn't writing, the other two that were not being ridden, uh, turned around and helped. Your mount will never uh, fight unless you push the left button and it fights. Also, the left button gathers. And None of the animals gather fiber, but the player is the only one. You are the only one. So you have to collect all the fibers. So you have nothing else to do. You're waiting for something, a tame. Collect the fiber, throw everything else away, because that's what you're mainly after, and you'll just be weighed down, because remember, you don't have any weight. What to speak of here is some silk. Kind of look up. You have to kind of... I don't know why they did that, but there's the silk. See, we got silk. You need a lot of silk to repair your outfits. So you might as well just keep busy. There you go. Go back to your mount that you have with you. Push F, open him up, and put whatever you gathered away. He can eat the fruit. You can eat the fruit. Uh, then you had a little sand. You have a little fiber. You don't get much. It's not like the center and the island where, I mean, you have a ton of resources. Here you don't. Okay. How much weight is on you? 658. And how much can you carry? 631. Oh. Six ten. No, I'll just take you. Let's go get the dodic. Come on, little one. Okay. There we go. Oh, and he has a level two. Keep him leveled up in weight. I mean, he can only carry 400 pounds of stone, and you're 80 to 100 pounds already, so it's kind of tough. I always put myself into first position, first uh, roll the mouse towards you. It's this kind of way. Roll it away from you, and it's like a first position. And it's easier for me to see that I've, I've had them follow me. Right? 
when you're new, you're just not that good. <laughs> that is a step. Okay, let's go. We'll just fill everybody up. Remember not to overload them so they can't move. And we're overloaded. So I'm just going to put you from medium to low. So that I can just walk over here, push F on my dough dick, take everything, push F on you, I take everything. 326 pounds already, wow. I need the arrows, guys. I'm not taming right now, so I don't want this. And the next thing I'm going to make is I'm going to make a pike. Okay, so this one is following Rolly. I need him to follow me. Press the T button and have him follow you. He's already full. Okay, he's first. Okay, now you can unfollow me. All right, next. Isn't grinding fun? But if you had to do this just yourself without any animals, you'd be all, well, actually you are all day all the time. And not only is your Dota getting you uh, rock, but he's getting you sand. So he's getting, for anything that you're making into rock, and anything you're making into sand. Uh, he's not. Uh, let's see here. I need to take all your inventory. Give you weight. That is from some kind of bug, but they just keep doing that. I don't know what it is. Okay, how much do you weigh? 382. You can only take about another 150 pounds. Jeez, Rolly, quit it. Rolly! Ah! Okay. Now, I want to see if this is a rock or if this is part of arc. Huh. I don't know. That's part of art. Not this little tiny guy, probably. I don't know. Jeez, you think this is a... Oh my gosh. 580 pounds. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Okay, so you're going to have to take... See, if I put 200 more pounds on him, he's not going to be able to walk. Can I walk? Can you walk? Okay. Let's go, guys. Time to unload. I don't know. Uh, oh, nobody's too heavy. If they don't follow you, it means that they're overloaded and you have to go back and take some of their load. Sometimes people put uh, storage um, cabinets in the, you know, up. Uh, around where they're gathering. Uh, of course, a cabinet needs to have a foundation, so you just make a thatch foundation and put your cabinet on it. I think that you don't need that, but I can't remember because I have put storages up on um, the center map anywhere I wanted, but I don't know in this one. 
and I'm not going to say because every arc is a little bit different. Um, and, um, now, if they don't move, if they keep rubber banding back, not like this, but just keep rubber banding back into where they were, even if they, even if you get them out a little bit further, it means that they're stuck. Uh, the easiest way to unstick them is just to make sure that they follow you and get them out from wherever they were stuck in, and then you can get on them. All right, and uh, right after this, Okay, so every stone, okay, stone wall takes a uh, 40 stone. But I think every behemoth gate takes like 900. Get on something that you need to be able to place in a certain position, get off, go unload a little bit, and then get back on. Because they're not going to follow you into the right place. You might as well just forget it. <laughs> okay. So let's see here. Probably going to fill this up, aren't we? Okay, so let's get a little bit of fruit and put a little bit of fruit, push the shift key, put a little bit of fruit back. They like to eat. In fact, you'll hear them eating when they're working, which is kind of interesting. But Okay, let's get on. We will see the difference in how fast he'll be able to move. Maybe you don't. <laughs> Since if you're new, you might not. <laughs> I know I didn't right at the beginning. Uh, but when you're on them, if they're going clunk, 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 oh yeah. All right, next, let's just unload you. We are so lucky that we got this area. I don't know where it is, but we are so lucky. Because there's not a lot of things, and you know, the center and the island, they have a ton of carnos, but here you have a lot of other things that will just, you know, eat you up. And then you're gone. Okay, so let's just take all this stuff off of him. And I need to see, we have four more slots left. And since we're just working in the area, he doesn't need any tent or anything. We can always make it back, just in time. Okay, now I'm going to move him away. And we need another spot where there's more rocks. <sighs> is it grinding? This is what every YouTuber does off camera all day long to bring you like maybe five or ten minutes to a half an hour of a great YouTube time all day long they do this but since you're new and you want to know how to do it I'm just gonna bring you with me I didn't do that uh, yesterday and I worked like 10 hours uh, and a lot of things happened during the 10 hours that you know I didn't plan on and I thought maybe they'd just like to see. I mean, a lot of my animals died. I had to go retame. And, you know, they'll say, well, you know, I lost this one, I lost that one. Well, they do it off camera so that, you know, you don't have to watch them for 14 hours working. And it's tough on them. 
And it's seven days, tough on me. <laughs> really, I mean, truly, it's kind of like... <gasps> okay, I'm going to jump off. And I can't. I'm all overweight. Uh, I don't know if I can reach you. Oh my goodness, I can reach you. Thank you for being so close. Okay, and let's get this one. No, this one. It will only let you take so much at a time. What did you do? Move? Wow. Move. It's kind of incredible. Hmm. T, T. Take, take. Transfer, transfer. Oh, how much do you weigh? Uh, give me more weight. We can put a tiny bit more in you. Uh, more for you. Okay. Okay. It's better if you're out far away from your place to have two Morella tops because one of them isn't powerful enough to take most things down unless you're on them and you can, you know, hit the, the oncoming onslaught of the uh, enemy. But if you just have him and he's alone, like I had my Parasaurus, I didn't, I wasn't on them when we were attacked, and I probably would have been able to get away had I been on him, but I wasn't, and so he and I both died, <laughs> and it was really sad, but I had just put, made my bed and just put it down. Okay, so this one's 631. He is not going to be able to move a bit. Not even a squishy bit. Not even a tiny bit. So that's just going to have to go right through here. Right here. And I'll put you in here. And keep upping your weight. 628. Okay. So you can take about another 600 pounds. So let's go over here. Uh, I hope you take this. Why is that? I have no clue. I just back them up. Push S. S backs up. Is this going to work? No? It's going to work now? It's funny, huh? Sometimes it works. I like it when I'm on the side of the, of the rock or something, but... And then I look at it and hope that they get it. And they should. Most of the time they do. Okay, and we know we're already... Uh, let's see here. Okay, so here, here. Keep walking until the F button gives you access to their inventory. Come over here. I don't know why it would work one minute and not the next, but it does that. Okay. So we're grinding. We're collecting enough stone to make um, a behemoth gate. And then after that, okay, he's already top loaded. So we have to take some and carry that ourselves. And that'll overweight us. So let's see, he's... Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's, um, let's half this and half that. And he can carry about 550. And I can carry couple more pounds, but I think we're just going to all go back as soon as I uh, get one more load here. Okay. Don't make yourself so heavy that you aren't able to help your animals 
or yourself or you'll be dropping stuff when it yesterday I actually had to drop I had to drop arrows just to be able to make it home and be able to run and he's gonna be way overweight and I'm gonna have to take some of it okay so let's up him and wait uh, and um, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to take He can't move. I can't move. Uh, I have to pick what you want you want. Hmm. He's not going to be able to eat. Too bad. And I'm going to drop a tiny bit of sand. So you follow me. Following Rolly. And I need you to follow me. Okay, come on. And this is how fast you're gonna go. Very slowly. <laughs> but you're at home. And there are no enemies, no carnivores. No angry anything that you aggroed, no matter whether they are carnivores or herbivores. Be diligent, guys. Really diligent. And watch your food and your water continuously. Uh, and just in a nick of time, we're coming home again. Let's see, we've already had a heat wave. Let's watch this little deer boa over here, what he does. He looks up. Come on. We're having another heat wave. Oh my gosh. You're kidding. too heavy. I offloaded a whole bunch of stuff so I could c carry something for you. There you go. There you go. Okay. Come on. Ready? You need to be on low. Come on. You still can't move? Unfollow. Oh my god, no wonder. I don't have time to put him in. I just have to be protected by all these guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, what I wanted to do is I wanted to see if the... Oh, here we go. We're dying again. No matter what, it takes your health. It's 171. 172, it's going to take your health more. Last time it got up to 180. 
if you don't if you're out the first thing you want to do is make a tent it is the only thing that will protect you from this you might be able to get through a sandstorm in your little grass hut but you're not going to be able to get through a heat storm make a sleeping bag if you want to make it first and put it down so that if you do die in the heat you can just respawn right at your sleeping bag all your stuff will be in your little hut with you and you so will your Jeroboa if you've already gotten one and you're set if you have a little place you have your sleeping bag down the tent is next and that's what I made I made three of them I just went around and killed Lestosauruses they only give you eight um, uh, hide and Jeroboas give you 50 but I didn't have the tools to get a Jeroboa and they run first time you hit them unless you have a bow and arrow which is the second weapon that you want to make after a spear so you need silk which are those little blue flowers for your tent so anytime you see little blue flowers and you're walking around and you're on your way trying to make it at least keep the silk you know you can always get the thatch you can always get the fiber uh, thatch is from the trees and from cactus those big long tall cactuses not the you know um, the cactus trees have a thatch and cactus sap and wood the cactus have thatch and cactus sap thatch fiber and wood are readily available silk always isn't so if you come across the purple flowers get you know harvest them okay we're, we're watching ourselves here die down to 255 last time we lost almost all our health uh, when we get our um, hat but I need uh, I need crystal and silica pearls to make it and silica pearls I know are at the rivers and at the uh, obelisks um, crystals harder it's in the mountains and everywhere in the mountains there are uh, golem uh, and tons of uh, geez raptors snakes carnivores of any kind you know even uh, Argentavises can get you. I'm telling you, there's just anything. Carnos, anything. Even Rexes. I mean, they're everywhere. Right here, it says it's an easy spot to spawn. Um, I spawned here. <laughs> because I cannot do a medium or a hard one yet. I just, I don't think anybody really can, even when they're experienced. Uh so um, if I was going to go up into the mountains, I want something really fast. So I'm going to have to either tap, tame a saber tooth or a wolf or an argent or a moth if I'm going to fly. And if I have a moth or an argent, I have to make sure that they're upped in weight. You can't go flying around uh, with too much weight. You have to have hardly anything on you and you have to if you're going just specifically just specifically for one item keep the weight off I mean you know you're not going to go tame if you want to tame you can always tame another time don't do it right then okay so we're not going to let's see so in here it's 544 hypothermal insulation what is it out here if it's the same I'm just going to do some stuff around here let's see I'm going to walk over here I'm going to push E get rid of that and keep everything shut so now in here is 544 same same I have lost almost half my health health is really important guys keep your health keep 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 it keep it and remember um, the timer on cactus sap is very short when you're making clay so here's the timer uh, spoils in two minutes so start using it. So every piece of cactus sap, if you don't have thousands and thousands and you want to do something, every piece is going to, every two minutes is going to spoil. Cactus sap is going to spoil. It's just going to be gone. Now this is a good time to make another mortar and pestle. 
you're starting to uh, do more stuff. So let's see what a mortar and pestle takes. I push into my storage because when I go to craftables and look up mortar, uh, if I spell it right, I need 65 stone and 15 high. Then I go to inventory. Even though there's nothing there, it's because it's looking for something at MOR. But I'm still going to go down here and give it a little bit of hide. Hopefully my hide is in here in this one. Uh, e, uh, 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 uh. Where's my hide? Where's my hide? Uh, we got all kinds of hide yesterday. We killed that um, Morella tops. See, my food is almost gone. Keep your food and your water up by eating cactus sap. Have plenty of cactus sap. And I, um, let's see, if we take, do I have some over here and here? Okay, the timer in here, okay, it spoils in uh, 12 minutes, 19. Okay, so uh, about every 13 minutes. So there's a lot more spoilage time if you keep it in here. And this is where you ought to keep it, the kind you're going to eat. I also cook my meat. When I make it into jerky, jerky lasts a lot longer. Keep your oil that you get from the oil jug bug and spark powder. If you don't have the oil, it's not going to make jerky. Okay. I wonder what I did with my hide. I probably left it in here, huh? Yes, I did. So we're going to need stone and hide. And we're going to type mortar and pestle. And I always make three. Because pretty soon you're going to be making uh, clay and then narcotics. And sometimes in huge batches. And then at the same time, sometimes you need to be making spark powder. They will not do it at the same time. You need to have a mortar and pestle going for each time you're using something. So you're going to be out of luck if you have to have all three of them in a hurry. So I might be able to put another mortar and pestle next to this one. I don't know. Sometimes they let you, sometimes they don't. When I was uh, first starting on Scorched Earth, I had a mortar and pestle. I had made it. And I could not find, uh, if you go F, uh, see it has clay. If you push show all, I have bought the engrams for spark powder, narcotics, cementing paste, and clay. So there I am. It does not have clay. No matter what I do, my engram has that. I can buy it. I buy it twice. It never shows up here. Finally, I have to break all of my mortars and pestles, and I remake them because there's a patch that somehow upgraded the mortar and pestle. Who knows why? Because I I really was making clay originally, then it wasn't making clay, then it was making clay again. So somehow it got broken and they refixed it. So yeah. So now I'm going to um, close that down because we're going to try to place one right next to it. So, so let's see if we can get the other one there. Yeah, it's not going to let me. Okay, so we have to find a place or two mortars and pestles close. Oops, excuse me, honey. Uh, I am full of something. Uh, I wonder if it'll let me place it in these little spots that are kind of, yeah, it will. Look at that. Gonna let me put down both. Usually, I make a table, then I have all my mortars and pestles on them. I put three of them on a table. I want to be able to be close to um, 
this and this. So I can open this if I need to. I can always transfer something really heavy out of that storage into this one, into this one right to here. Or if it's finished, right over back over here and then to here, you know. Uh, and then also use this. Because if I walk here, I can get into this, my preserving bin, into my smithy, into one storage cabinet, into the other storage cabinet, and into my mortar and pistol. See? Cool, huh? So you don't have to move, especially if you're weight. They let you have a few things when you're overweight, but not, not much. Okay, so we're looking for spoiled meat for the narcotics. Right now I made a bunch of clay. Let's see here. How much clay do we have? If you put the clay from here into here, it'll combine it. It doesn't always combine it in here for some odd reason. Okay, so now I want to put this here. Okay, now I'm going to walk over here. So I'm going to get half of this. Keep making as much clay as possible. Walk over here. Because you can't move around when you're overweight. And I'm 215 pounds. I, I wouldn't be able to move even a tiny smidgy place anywhere. Nothing. Zip. Okay. And remember I told you that um, the uh, thorny dragons are the new beavers. <laughs> They're the new smithies. I named my uh, thorny dragon beaver because, I mean smithy. Excuse me. I've um, been playing Ark a lot lately, just trying to get better at it doing more things, trying to be, just trying to be better. Okay, so then, here's, don't you just love the way they look at you? They'll look at you. That's the dynamic. My backspace bar isn't working really well. It's kind of goofy, huh? I don't know why. It's sort of sticky. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Uh, I'll have to figure out why. Huh. Wow. I'm going to need a new keyboard. I've already worn this one out. It doesn't matter. Right now we're worried about behemoth. Stone dinosaur gate. We need 900 stones. What do we have? What do we have? Going to be making more than one. You want an in one and an out one. You can also use them as your gates, as your fencing. You can put four of them in a, in a square if you want. Make, you know, quick fencing if you have that kind of resource around. You're going to need all of your wood. Stone and thatch, just to pull this off. Put the cactus set back. Okay, and I need to that, to that, I need to thatch. Put your thatch in here. Thatching wood also for your adobe, but right now I'm more interested in getting my taming pen done and getting a place for my morella tops. And remember, morella tops can't go through a dinosaur gate. They need a behemoth gate. You're going to need your fiber.
Now, if you really want a beautiful base and you want to put everything into Adobe, they do have Adobe uh, Behemoth Gates. Right now, all I'm interested in is um, just getting my animals protected. I can always fiddle around later and do something, you know, like, uh, you know, I can fill around later and, and make everything clay and sand if, if I want. I mean, later, later, later. Not now, now, now. I, you, sometimes you can't do everything like the pros. Sometimes you just have to do it like you. And resources are so tight that when I placed that smithy crooked, I thought, who cares? When one of my walls placed backwards that it shouldn't have, who cares? Just get it up. Get yourself protected and get your animals protected so you don't lose them and you'll be fine. Also, I wanted to show you that if you push Craft All and look down at the bottom there at clay, it will only make 1,001 no matter how many times you push it. So you're going to have to wait till it's done or it's halfway done to make the next 200 because there's still 200 more that can be made. And so then over here, we have that one going. And we've got this one. Just calling along. And we don't need anything in here. We got all the thatch out of here. We got all of the fiber out of here. We have all the wood out of everywhere. Okay, now I'm going to go unload. I might not be able to lock. Oh, barely. Okay, D. And see, it's saying that I need to find a cool place to cool down. It's 111 degrees. I mean, it's 117 when we're having a heat wave. And it's only 6 degrees more. So, I mean, see the heat down in the bottom left? That's telling you that it's too hot to be out. And, um... You can get heat stroke. It will heat stroke you in a minute. So don't allow it. Don't. Just come in here, work for a bit. If your heart starts beating really loud, stop, run in, and cool off. And it takes a while. It's just not like, oh, it's going to happen right away. It's like if you went into a real house and it took you a while just to get, you know, cooled off. And you're not going to be able to jump in a bathtub or jump in the river down here or anything. Just, you have to stand there. It's another arc thing. Okay, this one's on protection here. On patrol. Okay, you're off. You're next. Okay. Alright. Let's go. I can move past the swinging tails here quickly enough. Hot dig. Okay. Uh, this door. I'm having trouble walking. Uh, it's, maybe it's a little laggy. Why am I having trouble walking? Huh, it's funny, huh? Well. I'm not burdened down by anything. Oh, wow, that took a long time. Only 22 pounds. Huh. Okay, he's not coming in close enough. I have to put him on lowest. I'm gonna unload him. This. Wooden thatch next. Okay, put him on unfollow so he doesn't try to kill the compound while he's trying to get to you. Put your, even if you just have a teeny, teeny, tiny little corral, put your tiny animals up. You know, unless you've got some real baddies that can protect it out here. But it's going to be like all the other baddies and really try to uh, fight. Is it you? Yeah. I don't know if you can move. Can you move? 
I'm not even going to try it. Just here. Tea. And give me a tiny bit of something here. I can take a half. Uh, I don't think I can take that. Maybe I can take that much. I'll try. Oh, I can. Okay, come on. Let's go. Walk out way far away from the building. So that, because their turning radius is pathetic. And they'll just be stuck in the building. Uh huh. Hello. How do you do? Okay. So let me take the sand. Let me take this. Let me take it all. Cause... See, I'm rubber banding. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think I am. I could be able to walk. Huh. Oh, I thought so. It's you. It's not rubber banding at all. It's your head. There. They push you around because they're looking at you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we'll make a trough. Some more feeders. We'll have to run around and put fruit in all of them. Berries. Because now there aren't any, uh... Maybe we could put one by the water. Well, that might work out well. <laughs> fun. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I think I will. I'll put one over here. Now, I'm going to put the behemoth gate in first. I have to figure out where to put all that stuff. This is a pretty flat area over here. Maybe I should put it here. And then have my taming pen on the other side. That might work out better. Okay. So let's see. Uh, what we have, we can build a behemoth stone dinosaur gateway even though it said we could craft two we might not have all so been able to build the door and you want to make both at the same time uh, now we're going to need 900 wood we're out of wood and these things weigh four pounds so if you're out and about and you have your thorny dragon with you, and you want to build a something in a smithy, you could actually load the thorny dragon up with stone, wood, thatch, and fiber, and make yourself your gateways. You can just walk around with it, and then it goes from weighing like a thousand pounds down to four when it's made into a unit, into a structure. So, when I was making walls, I'd run around and I'd collect what I needed and uh, I would make, you know, the wooden wall or the thatch wall, or actually the wooden wall and the stone walls when I had any animal. The, the adobe wall needs to have a mortar and pestle so you're kind of stuck unless you want to put down a mortar and pestle on a thatched, um, one small thatch square foundation and use it and then you know just after you've made everything that you need in that area just demolish the mortar and pestle in that thatch foundation or if you're the only one on the server at the time or you were all in the same tribe you can leave it for other people but another tribe won't be able to use it and they wouldn't be able to build there because that stuff is there so if you're on a server with other tribes demolish your stuff out of courtesy Even a campfire. There's no way that they can build. Boy. 
here we are again, presented with another problem. I would love to keep doing the fortitude, but I'm going to, no, I'm just going to keep going with the fortitude, at least until it's 30. Then we'll go back to health and very, at the end, very end, we'll just do weight. But in three days, I've gotten up to level 63. I don't quite know how, but I have. Okay, so we're going to have enough thatch uh, and enough fiber. So we really only want to go get wood before the next storm. Do we have our Jeroboa on us? No. Where's our Jeroboa? What are you doing? Come on. Okay, so we have, now we don't have to worry about our doe dick, you know. Uh, who had the most weight out of you guys? It's my level 146 I got yesterday. He was stuck between two rocks and I was able to get him. Mm, I guess we'll just go and... Bring it with me. Let's go. Now, if you want, don't even look, don't even look, don't even look, Marshall Ming, don't look. If you want wood, you have to cut it yourself. The only thing that got wood on any of the other servers was the beaver. Uh, the trike got thatch. Um, Morella tops get thatch. I'm sorry I stopped for a minute. I'm checking out what's going on in front of me, making sure that we're not going to be eaten or killed or put our animals in danger. I mean, if it was a Rex, you just get on your stuff and go. <laughs> Do not hang around. Just like if you're after some Carno, Alpha Carno, that is a, you don't know what level it is. Uh, you, anything Alpha on the other servers, you, I just don't hang out or hang around. I don't go there. Um, let's see here. <laughs> and we're not in an area where there's a lot of snakes, so I haven't, uh, we're not down by the river where they congregate and in the desert where they are too. Uh, the trees that were right around where I'm living are all gone, they won't respawn in the area. The ones that are out in the outlying areas around there, they will. Now we've only done three trees and gotten 233 wood, which isn't a whole lot. So, uh, all you have is cactus trees that way. We're not gonna be able to do a thing with cactus trees. We need trees. So we're just going to do trees. Up over that rise, on that other side, you start getting into all of the uh, carnivores. You know, mainly the smaller ones. Of course, I'd probably say that and the next time we go there, there'll be rexes, but you know, it's usually just the uh, raptors. And there, I saw an Argentavis over there. I haven't uh, ever tamed an Argentavis. I tame moths. I'm going to get there. But after five months of gaming, I think at Grandma at 70, I really want to show you that you can do anything you, that you put your mind to. So someday I'll just unload all of my really important stuff. Probably go up there with just cloth clothes on. Can we get this guy unstuck? Oh, he's been sticking himself really well. Yeah, if you had got on him and you would uh, let them smash these trees, you would get mainly thatch. And right now we need the wood. Uh, it's very wood intensive to build behemoth baits, no matter which kind, uh, adobe or um, stone. And I'm using my adobe for me because it's the only thing that will keep you alive is your adobe 
even if you build one room with one door and one ceiling. Get yourself something adobe up right away. Get your mortar and pestle, get yourself a little bit of sap, get a little sand and, you know, use your wooden pick for sand, your hatchet for stone. Just get your pick out, keep it, you know, repaired or make another one, I could care less. Get your one room, one room, and it'll save your life every time. Get your cactus sap, make sure you have it down in your uh, item bar. See your item bar on the bottom? Get your cactus sap ready because remember how much my health dissipated and my food and my water went down. Well, if you have even two little points of health by the end of the storm, you'll still live, but not if you don't have any water or food. Take care of yourself first. See what you can do, you know. It's really important. I have no clue what the sap is for except for fishing in the other, um, in the redwood forest. So, who knows? So I'm sure they have something for it. Uh, be very careful around things that will attack you and kill you that generally aren't uh, that are generally peaceful, just don't aggro them. Like I did yesterday. Day before yesterday. No, actually yesterday morning. I got on early. I was doing all of this stuff off camera. I didn't want to stream and bore you guys to tears. I was on for 10 hours and I lost a parasaur, another parasaur, because I was out practicing with my whip. And I would whip stuff because it just picks up everything in the area. And I accidentally hit a um, Ankylosaurus, the bigger one that takes the metal rocks and crunches them into metal. Well, I hit one and it killed the parasaur, Zuh plural, and me. Oh, how much do you weigh? 439. You're full. I don't know if I ever named this one. I don't know what I named, wanted to name him. He's really pretty, huh? Uh, I guess we could call him, um, gee, I don't know. Yeah, I still feel the same way. I don't know either. Okay, let's continue. There's a couple of more trees over here. And I don't think there's a wild anything in the area that could hurt us. I kind of brought my uh, highest level roller tops. Right over there at that base of that mountain is where I got all the metal one piece at a time. To, I was so excited when I got my smithy. It takes metal ingots. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. Two pieces of metal make one ingot. One. And one rock would give me one ingot with a stone pick. Picks get metal. Pretty useful. Okay, so I can't use you anymore. I have to use you. Uh-oh. Here comes that one. I don't know why they want to walk around behind us. I have to be so careful. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's see here. We really need the wood, guys. Come on. Let's, might as well be brave. Uh, at the base of the mountain are uh, saber tooth, wolves, Argentavises, Paraceratheriums. You're getting into the uh, more advanced arcing for us archers and arquettes. And I will just put this in you. You don't get nearly as much wood here on the desert as you do in the other arcs on the island and on the center. I guess the other trees are a little bit thicker. So you only get 96 wood. You can get 500 wood on some of the other trees 
and some of the other art uh, maps. But this is the desert and it emulates the real desert. There we go. Uh, do we really, really, really? No, we don't. Let's just go get these. <laughs> ah, no, we don't want to do that either. We want to go back. To the safety. Of having four of them. And the wolf didn't aggro. Well, we are really fortunate. Holy smokes, we're fortunate. Oh my gosh, we're so blessed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoo! Yep. Uh, now, that one that's running around is following this one. So it's going to run back. Like I told you yesterday, you have to actually either... Uh, if you, even if you say unfollow with a U, unfollow, it will not unfollow what it's following. It's unfollowing you. So you actually have to come over here and press T for it to follow you. Or press Y. Y is the best because if you only want to do one thing. But if you actually want it to follow you somewhere, just press the um, T. And automatically do it in one one key okay so let's go this way I think they made the animals really pretty in this uh, map especially the oil junk books oh my god they're just gorgeous I they're really pretty whoever is doing the art has really done it outdone themselves it's beautiful really beautiful Okay, so I think we have enough to make our, um, uh, okay, I'm going to put you back, turn it all the way around. Get things pacing around here, we want to make sure. Well, I tried to get tame a, a doe dick the other day if they roll up in a ball you might as well just forget it you know yeah I know really just just forget it I mean, you're not gonna be able to tame them you have to wait till they unroll it's a great defense I've seen really big things trying to get them and have can't get them when they're all bowled up in a little roll but if you're on it and you need to escape and you need to run off the side of a cliff, press the right button and it will roll into a ball with you on it and you can roll down the hill and not get hurt. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but it's true. It's wonderful. Okay, so let's see how much we can take here. Let's put an F here and we'll just transfer everything. And then let's see if we can get this. So we need to go in because we're getting heat stroke. See the little uh, white thing here? That's saying we're heat stroked. And it's just not... Um, pretty soon our heart's going to start beating. And, thunk, 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 and we're going to die. So we just need to be really careful. This one is not going to be my beast of burden. The higher one is going to be the one that I'm going to level up in uh, melee damage because it's uh, always going to be in the front. I needed one fighter. Okay. So now um, I'm going to go in. I'm going to get out of the heat before I have... Uh, if there... A, a, a plate will look... A, It'll look like a shield with a, a cross on it, and that means you're having a stroke. Uh, you don't want a stroke. It takes a long time, and you have to have a lot of help to be able to beat it. 
So um, right now our health is okay, our stamina is okay, our food's a little shy, our water we just filled up, we're doing really well. Okay, so let's go over here. Remember I told you the mortar wasn't good. Oh, let's shut this. I need to shut this door. Keep yourself enclosed in Adobe. Okay, so here we are. Now we can get this one again and do the two, four, five hundred. Okay, so now we have 2544 in here. I can't use it right now. I was actually kind of keeping all my clay over there and uh, that until I started actually making so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm going to have to start making here. I'm going to have to start putting something else in here. I was thinking of putting my fruit in here. Because I have raw supplies over here. But right now we need to make a trough. I think this one has enough wood. Uh, I think we need metal for a trough. Which is another bad thing. See, eight metal. It's going to take our metal. We'll only be able to make one, then we're going to have to go mine more metal if you want to have a feeding trough. If not, I have to run around and just make sure that those four animals have food in them, which is a better alternative for me because I don't have a lot of them yet. And I don't have any metal. I haven't been able to find a metal node. So I'm going to forfeit that trough right now. And, you know, they're right in the front. I can get to them easily. And uh, they pick berries easily. I make sure that all of my animals have food before I even start uh, streaming. Just like in real life, you take care of your animals first. Uh, even before yourself. Because you'll get going and you'll forget. You can actually make a stimulant. That one's working. Let's use this one. I'll take the clay out. And I'll put in the stimulant, the uh, flint. I think you have all the stone. Just a tiny, tiny bit of stone. I'll put the clay in here. And the cactus up. And that. And I'll put the stone in here and make spark powder. And then I'm going to have to buy the engram for a stimulant. It's really nice if you're out in the desert and you've been uh, attacked by uh, a scorpion. Remember to have cactus sap with you because you'll get extremely hungry and thirsty after you use it, but it will save your life. Also, um, stimulant uh, is made with pelt and uh, narcotics. No, I think it's just pelt and stimulant. I don't know what else. For um, bug repellent, when you're getting a uh, mantis, when you're taming a mantis, you want to put bug repellent on. Just like if you're going to be taming an arthropleura. And have a ghillie suit, which takes a lot of chitin. And I'm not getting a lot of chitin because I can hardly take down any jug bugs or water bugs. They fly away really fast. <laughs> and I'm not good yet. Okay, so here now we can make 61. So stimulant takes, as you can read it up there on the right, spark powder and stem berries. And I always have some on hand. I like it. Um, we can only make uh, 61 because we don't have enough stem berries in here. I don't know. I think we'll only make 61 to start because we're going to need spark powder for other stuff. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 okay. Here we go. And we'll stand here in the middle. And we'll get the cactus sap. 
sand and clay out of here and put it over here, right here, here, and here. Okay. Um, I have oil in my bin, preserving bin, so I'm starting to put it in here in case I need it for something else. Uh, my arrows. I should not have them in here now that I am doing my thing. I need to put them in my own cabinet. Uh, and then over here, just stick all this extra stuff in here. Am I going to be, yes, I'm going to be mining metal later. Yippee do. So I will keep my arrows now that I'm done getting all the uh, met, uh, stone. Okay, so now we need to go back in between and transfer our wood and thatch. Uh, I want to show you something that was interesting. You go here and put the wood back. And you say, drop item. It's going to drop the item in entirety, the whole entire thing. You can press E and pick up the whole thing. I'll, if you try to get it, if you transfer it to your inventory, it only gave me 15. But as a package, it gives you entire amount that you dropped on the floor, which I did not know when I very first started. And I had 5,000 wood somewhere and I was transferring a thousand at a time and I lost half of it because they have a timer on them. So if you have something that's extremely heavy, that will only let you take partial, see like that? But you need to get it into someplace else quickly so you don't lose it, drop the item on the floor, pick it up, make sure you have a place that you can put it, because you're not going anywhere, and you move the whole entire thing. How about that? that cool? Learn something new every day. Okay. I've been keeping my mejo berries in the preserving bin along with my spoiled meat. Spoiled meat actually has a timer. Two minutes and 48 seconds is one piece that's going to be gone. So I put it in the preserving bin in case we come along a scorpion that we want to tame. And there's my mejo berries. Uh, let's see. So that went from two minutes to spoil to 26 minutes. It gives you a lot more time. For something to be good. Just incredible. But whenever I get meat, I cook it. Uh, most uh, kibble recipes want cooked meat or uh, jerky uh, or cooked prime or jerked prime. And I had some prime yesterday, but I, we didn't get back in time. Prime spoils like in two or three minutes. So Make sure you get back and get it in the preserving bin and um, start your fire. Take one piece of prime out at a time and put it in the fire. After it's cooked, put it into the bin. Take the next piece of prime out because inside of you, the timer is increased like 100, 200 times. And by the time you're done, you won't have any prime meat at all cooked. So, just teaching you how to conserve in arc. Okay, so we have a, a door. Where did our gate go? We made a gate. We didn't make a gate? Oh, we made two so that, just in case. Okay, so we can make this one. Nine hundred and 
cleared wood. I'll just go ahead and craft this one. And see how much wood now we need. It only takes the stone wood thatch, doesn't need fiber. That's really nice to know. Okay, so now we need another uh case. We have to have extra wood for fires and stuff too, so we need about another thousand wood. See, I'm overheating already. As soon as I walk out the door. So I ask the admin to please, 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 please shorten the, uh, long, lengthen the night so I can get something done around here. I mean, I just don't want to spend the whole time indoors. Where's some more trees? Well, let's just run up and go get some more wood. You know, I used to leave these open until I found out that a terror bird can get through an open door, just like a dillo. Oh, that's the rain. The rain is okay. I'll just take... With me. Let's go. That whining. That's that uh, rain. Okay. Off. Let's get it done. I'm going to start loading up my burden one that I'm upping grading in, bur in weight and leaving my uh, one that's up in melee damage. I'm going to leave my trank arrows in here and my bow. Okay. I really do need a pike because if something came out or a sword. In fact, I'm I need like 50 metal ingots to do a sword. So. Oh. So what's the temperature right now? 108. One degree less than the heat storms. Jeez. When it starts to rain, I want to see if it goes down. Okay. But be really careful over here, guys. Really out in the open. But the more you need, the further you have to get away from your base. Because anything that you cut down will be gone. The only stuff that respawns is the stuff really far away. Okay, so stuff down here. Right, right here. Boy, that better be an Amarola Tops. I don't want that to be it. Oh, there's a Carno. Oh my god, there's a Carno. Oh, we don't need that. We, we just don't need to be around that right now. So I'm just going to put you right here. I think we're away enough. But we can't aggro on behind here. Pay attention. You don't think that you can see something, but if you take your time, you see a tail waving, look out further. And don't be silly. Drop stuff and run if you need to. You know, you can always come back and get stuff. You make stuff over, you know. <laughs> And if you're behind something, you won't aggro anything. 
got all the stuff wherever there's bad guys. It's really nice, you know. Let's go home. We'll just wait till everything grows back around us again. I'm not even messing with it. We'll just get, we'll just use cactus sap batch and junk trees right now. I don't want to be around carnos, carnosauruses. That's the last thing I need, it's a carnosaur. Bringing it over here. Uh, uh -uh. And, if, and without my taming pen, no. Someplace I could run into to capture it if I needed to, even just just to kill it, no. There's no way. Oh, we'll just run around and get junk, junk trees, junk wood. It's not junk. Put your axe away. Unload. And these little guys here, they're little baby ones, they'll give you wood. They might not give you a lot, but see this one gave you 10. And that one gave you 15. And that one gave you 21. one gave you six and this one's giving you nine that one gave you fifteen nine so it just might be a little bit more hunting and gathering and grinding but it sure is worth it especially if <laughs> yeah, too close to the mullet tops so it wants to See, we got 60 wood. I mean, hey, that's enough to make tools. So, every little bit helps. Especially when you're looking for 900 of them. Ugh, 900. 900 wood. And sort of right down in this tiny, tiny little valley here, it's kind of safe. As soon as you start to go up 30 feet, walk 30 feet around the corner, and it's, um, nope, can't do it. There's just too many bad things. You do not want to be around the bad things. So it will be better if you just went and gathered something else and waited for all the rest of that stuff. Okay, so it went down to 76 degrees. Which is pretty nice, huh? Because my Morella tops won't fight if I'm on it, unless I'm pushing buttons, and some animals are really, really clumsy about their turn radius. With you on them, you can't actually get them to turn as quickly or where you want them to go. I jump off, or I jump up. Uh, you're not gonna fall off if you're able to stay on it. Uh, if you, some animals, uh, you automatically are pushed off. You know, or jump down. 
automatically jump down. Some of the bigger ones, like the Morella tops and the Rex, uh, the Bronto, the Perisher, you can actually stand up while you're on it and um, it can maneuver itself. How are we doing? 300 and 2,000. Okay. Good enough. So are you following me? Okay, so let me see if I like this. Get everything. If you're out, remember to get everything you can because there's going to be another weather related obstacle in your way in just a tiny bit. You get done with one. And it doesn't even have to be something it's asking you to go in for, like a storm. It could be a heat stroke because it's 108, which is one degree less than it makes, you know, when the Jerboa go off and say, okay, we're having another heat storm. Then, of course, it gets up to 118. Anyway, when I was on the center map, I kept seeing that green writing way over in the middle of, like, this area outside of my bunker and I finally asked the admin I go what is that and he goes that's one of yours and I, that's when I realized that they were getting out because I didn't know that there were different colors for you know like um, my color was uh, yellow no green I think everything that was the admins was a different color okay can you take a tiny bit more? Uh, maybe. Maybe you can take a ton more. Okay. I don't think there's any more wood around. I don't see that any of those at all. We don't need hide right now, we need chitin. So we're going to have to get our bow and arrow out and practice shooting. You know, I asked the admin, I said, where am I going to get chitin? And he goes, well, you could go get and kill a mantis. And I thought, well, that's way out in the desert. There's no way I'm going to be getting a mantis right here unless I go to the green obelisk where there's water and mantises in plenty. I mean, truly plenty. Take off our inventory. Uh, T transfer. Uh, drop. I don't want seeds. Drop. Drop the seeds. Okay. And jump up. Okay, so when there's an enemy, an enemy close by, see all the enemies up there? Three. And I'm going to be glad to have a protection. Of, I just go E, a jump up. You will not fall off no matter what it does. If it's rearing up, running, no matter what. And you're safe on top of it, safer than if you were on the ground. So don't press. E or walk again, like W, or you'll be gone. You'll be, you'll be on the ground, which sometimes you do when you're. Oh, I hope you have enough. Phew. Come on, it's a bunch over here together. It's all that activity up there. Get you unloaded quickly before the the fray comes down this way. Uh, what are you doing? You're supposed to be following me. Following all the tops. No, you're supposed to be following me. Fresh me. Yeah, 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 me. Not that.
Okay, if you're in a bad area, congregate them in one area so that they can fight. See, I'm trying to, to get out of the way, and I can't, no matter which way. Just said unfollow twice. What is it? Is my unfollow button not working? Okay, what do we want to be? Our health is decreased terribly being out in that heat. Our food is leaving. Our water is leaving. If you put it down here in your bar and you press the number, it will automatically give it to you. You're up here and you use item, it gives you one at a time. And you have to keep using the left button. They uh, started doing that after um, they started having uh, all that stuff on SOTF when they were, you know, all the people would come down. I can't remember what those are called. Anyway, it's where ARC and you have two teams and maybe 16 of them and whoever is the best wins. Or four teams, four people per team, four and four, four versus four, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, so I gave myself a little bit of food. I guess I should learn all the names of this stuff so I sound more intelligent. Or at least knowledgeable. Not intelligent, just knowledgeable. Uh, okay, so I don't need any more of that. I do want to get all my arrows. I think my bows are still there. Okay, pretty much set. If I go back out, I know what I want to do first. I'm going to see how many more um, behemoth kits we can make. Ready? Let's see here. up to 20 to 30 before I start doing anything else. Have a goal. I'm doing 300 health. That was my goal. Uh, I needed to have more water and food. So I put my water up to 140 because at 100, half of it was gone like in no time. Now I can last a little tiny bit longer. Food, you can get in berries. You can find almost anywhere. So I just did it up to 120 doesn't help you any if you're racing around trying to get away from something, but it works. Um, my melee damage I started uh, because I want to be able to kill things without something else killing it for me, which you have to do right at the beginning. And then movement speed, I'm not really running from anything that couldn't overtake me anyway until I get, I think, past 140, so it's not going to do me any good. Uh, and weight, like I said, on the other two maps, I always got up to 400, but mm, not this one. Weight just isn't as important as keeping alive. I don't know. 
care how many times you have to go back and forth to bring stuff in. Okay, so we've got... It's about time for another storm, isn't it? All grinding. This is what the players do all day long that bring you those nice little half hour segments. They'll play for 10, I don't know, more than that probably. Hours, 10, 14, maybe 24 hours a day. I know that um, when they're doing their own admin work, sometimes they'll be uh, streaming, they'll be doing all the grinding, then they'll have to stop and they'll have to do all the editing for the video. Then they have to put the video on YouTube or other places wherever they're having them. It is really a tough day for them. It's a tough day for anybody. And um, so, yeah. So appreciate what they're doing. Okay, so we have four gates. And three doors. So we need to get another door. And we're already out of oh, whatever we're out of. We need 900 wood. Well, at least this time I only need 200 and some. So I'm going to save that wood because I have four reinforced Dyna gates. And four doors. Now you have to decide. Oh, look at that. We can make another one. But then this takes 450, so we need another 450 just for a gate. So I'm just not going to mess with it until we have another 450. Okay, before... This is a uh, 16. Anybody else around that looks like Morella Tops that would come to his rescue? There's one over there. Um, you have to make a, a decision. If you want to start taming it here, the other one will come and try to kill you and all of your ones that you have. So if you want the hide, if you need the hide and the meat, go find out what the other level is because if it's a hundred, you're not going to be able to beat it. It's a 4. Well, 40 is even pretty high. Because mine are uh, less than that. So, of course, there's four of them. If that other one wasn't there, I would kill this one in an instant. trying, keep trying. <sighs> okay. F, take the oil out. Don't waste the oil. I really need the chitin. Mm. Amazing. Here's a level one. Where did that 40 go? Did the 40 disappear? My 
H is it working? thing that's going to be coming over here and trying to kill us. Hmm. Thanks, guys. Good job. One Morella talks by itself over actually run away. I'm overheating. Of course I'm overheating. Okay, so here we go. We're going to be needing charcoal eventually, so as much of the food I can, as I can, I will uh, cook with wood. I'm going to... Uh, oh, that's got to be that stupid raptor. they kill? It didn't say. I know they killed something. Or they wouldn't have stopped. Oh, more meat. More hide. Yeah. I, here I thought the other day I had tons of hide and I had forgotten that I had made a leather outfit for myself. Okay. Now, even if these guys, oh dear, were on passive, when I whistled for everybody to get my target, these guys got attacking your target aggressive too. So they're all going to be trying to help you. Which is one reason why you do not want them in the same room. This sounds crazy, but they are, they, they go up. See? Isn't that incredible? I'm going to have to put a door here. Because I need to have all these guys. On the other side, if I have an open fire. Because they will run right into it and die. I am serious. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to shut this door. And I'm going to shut this door. I'm going to have to make a door for that. Why there is even a doorway up there, I don't have a clue. Oh, because I had once put a ladder there, then I realized I needed a door. Okay, I know why. Never mind. I did a wall there now. Okay, so let's just get rid of this doorway. Actually, the other day I thought, oh, this is really cool. I can just put, you know, the wall right over the doorway, but it didn't happen that way. It just didn't happen. It, both of them were sitting there. It's some things are really, some things really work, and some things really don't. Okay, so half of them on the bottom, the wood is this way, the ones on top, the wood is the other way. At this moment, I don't care. Other people, they get really undone. They want to change it, not me. If the police is one way, if I want to change it later, I will. Right now, I really could care. It won't be hard to make two of the ones when we don't, when we have more time to do stuff. We have no time right now. We have to get our animals protected. And there's only us. There is nobody else. Just me. So I need to make sure I do everything by myself. Okay, now, this whole area, there is no flame, there's no fire, just your bows. Ugh! Oh, never mind. Near the wall. Okay, so not for 
enough around to see it. Okay, we got stimulant now. Take a tiny bit and put it up next in your top row, away from your narcotics, because if you accidentally hit the narcotic button and take the narcotics, you will put yourself to sleep. <laughs> uh, speaking from a person who had done such things already, I didn't mean to, but oh my gosh, now what? Well, that better not be anything humongously big. Now what are we after? Okay. And make sure when you take out a tool, that's why I like a pick, because I can be more careful. But you can also hit your own animal. And the longer I'm on during the day, the longer more animals come down from the mountains. It's just part of the dynamic, I think, of the, of the game. All right, so let's put this away. We we're gonna cook some. We never got started on it yet because we were really busy doing other things. Now nobody can jump into the fire if they're aggroed, and we need to make that. So we need to stand kind of in the middle. So we need to get a tiny bit of wood, a little bit of thatch, a little bit of fiber, and clay. And we need to go to Adobe. And we need a wall. I used to build a whole bunch of stuff at once, but now, I mean, I really want to build a lot of Adobe. I did that before and it just went to waste. Everything that I had, you know, there were things that I didn't use. So now I'm just doing it one at a time. I'm kind of keeping my resources separate. Uh, it's important to me to keep as much resource as I can. Here's my oil. Here's my thatch. I don't think there's any spoiled meat over here, is there? No. Okay, keep your spoiled meat in your bin. Because it has a spoil timer of 36 minutes, and outside of it, it's got a spoil timer of about three. And then it, it's gone. Can never use it again. And um, that's why I like the third one. We're just gonna have to break down by and get another order of pistol. What in the world are you doing over here? Why are you there? Did I press F key twice? That's how they dismount, by the way. F key. I'm going to take a drink of water, excuse me, since I'm really not officially uh, streaming, just sort of grinding with you today. And I need to drink a lot of water, by the way. And I've already been on quite a while. Maybe I should quit right here. And then start again so it's not quite so long. So I will say, so long. I'll be back in five minutes, but uh, at least it'll start another. I'm going to call this, let's see, season two. I've done one and two. Tonight will be number three. So I'm just going to call this grinding between um, episode two and three. That's all I'm going to call it. Because I don't, I don't think that we need to call it anything spectacular like, you know season two episode three because it's not anyway i'll be right back guys i'll see you in a bit